Hi, kids. Welcome back to Gravicalc, where each week we build a new digital logic circuit using Gravitrax marble runs. We're doing this to find out how computers and other electronics work on the inside. This is our second lesson in the series, so if you haven't watched the first lesson, please go back and watch it first. Today, we're going to build two logic gates out of one Gravicalc marble circuit. But before we continue, pause the video and build this week's track using the app code shown. The Gravitrax app by Ravensburger will give you step-by-step -step build instructions after you load the app code when you switch the app to manual mode. Now this week's track can also be built with a single starter kit. No expansions are needed. And last week, I forgot to say, make sure all switches in your Gravicalc circuits are in the correct starting position shown in the app, or you won't get a correct result. And after running a track, you need to reset those switches back to their starting position before you run the track again. In last week's video, we briefly introduced some new terms, and today we're going to take some more time to talk about them. We talked about inputs and outputs. An input is what goes in to a system, and an output is what comes out of a system. So think about a calculator. You may type the phrase 10 plus 10 into the calculator as an input. The calculator will then display the answer of 20 as an output. Or think of a French horn player playing in an orchestra. His sheet music is the input and the sound of the horn is the output. In digital logic, logic gates have inputs and outputs. These inputs and outputs are electric signals that represent ones and zeros. Now last week we asked, what is digital logic? We learned that digital logic is how electrical circuits work in computer chips. The word digital in digital logic means we're working with circuits whose inputs and outputs can only be one or zero. Now the word logic in digital logic means we're going to perform arithmetic calculations. We're not using the word logic to refer to logical ways of thinking or logical fallacies, such as how circular reasoning is often used to date fossils and sedimentary layers as millions of years old. So digital logic is doing calculations with ones and zeros, which is the binary system. Binary means two. And so we are working in a math system that can only count to two. Not very sophisticated, but it works. And in future videos, we're going to learn how to count and read numbers in the binary system. Last week, we also mentioned that computers aren't as smart as they seem. Instead, they do really simple calculations really fast. Over and 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 over. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> and the simplest, smallest part of a computer that does a calculation is called a logic gate. There are seven simple logic gates, and we're going to build all of them in our Gravicalc video series. Then we'll start putting them together to make circuits that can add or multiply. In computers, the logic gates are hooked to each other, meaning the output of one logic gate goes on to the input of another logic gate. The signals of ones and zeros are passed from one logic gate to another. In Gravicalc, we are representing the signals with marbles. We represent a one signal with a marble and a zero with no marble or a lack of a marble. In Gravicalc, we will eventually be using the marbles to carry the signal from one part of the circuit track to the next, 
just like the signals are passed inside a computer. But first, we have to learn the seven basic logic gates. Here are their names. Repeat after me. And, or, XOR, not, NAND, nor, XNOR. And, or, XOR, not, NAND, nor, XNOR. And, or, XOR, not, NAND, nor, XNOR. Woohoo! So, we've already done the NOT gate. And today's digital logic gates are the OR gate and the AND gate. And these are a bit different than the NOT gate we built last week. The NOT gate had only one input and one output. So in our GraviCalc layout, we used a single marble slot on the launcher as the input, and we used the landing pad as the output. But the OR gate and the AND gate both have two inputs and one output. So in our GraviCalc circuit today, we are going to use two slots in the marble launcher as our two inputs. We'll call the left slot input A, and we'll call the right slot input B. If we have a marble in the left slot, that means the state of input A is 1. If we have no marble in the left slot, that means input A's state is 0. Now if we have a marble in the right slot, that means input B's state is 1. If we have no marble in the right slot, that means input B is 0. Okay, let's look at how OR gates work by using a logic table. A logic table tells us what output we get for each set of inputs. The OR gate works by treating a value of 1 as true and by treating a value of zero as false. So think about what the word or means. What happens if your mom says, you can have a cookie if you sweep the floor or wash the dishes? Now, does that mean you can have a cookie if you sweep the floor? Yes, that is true. Does it mean you can have a cookie if you wash the dishes? Yes, that is true. Does it mean you can have a cookie if you sweep and wash the dishes? Yes, that is true. Does it mean you can have a cookie if you neither sweep nor wash the dishes? No, that is false. And so we can make a logic table for the OR gate based on the logic of the word OR. If either one of the inputs is one, the output is 1. If both of the inputs are 1, then the output is 1. But if both of the inputs are 0, the output is 0. So let's run our OR gate circuit. We're going to run all four combinations of inputs. First, we have input A as 1 and input B as 0. What is the output? The output is 1. Okay, next we have input A as 0 and input B as 1. What is the output? It is 1. Next we have both inputs A and B as 1. There's marbles in both input slots. And what is the output? It is 1. Now lastly, we have both inputs A and B as 0. There is not a marble in either input. What is the output? It is 0. OK, so that was the OR gate. Now let's use this track to make an AND gate. All we have to do is move the switch starting position to the right. Okay, now we have an AND gate. Let's look at how the AND gate works by using a logic table. Think about what the word AND means. What happens if your mom says, you can have a cookie if you sweep the floor and wash the dishes? Does this mean you can have a cookie if you sweep the floor? No, 
That is false. Does it mean you can have a cookie if you wash the dishes? No, that is false. Does it mean you can have a cookie if you sweep and wash the dishes? Yes, that is true. <laughs> Does it mean you can have a cookie if you neither sweep nor wash dishes? No, that is false. And so we can make a logic table for the AND gate based on the logic of the word AND. The output is only one if both of the inputs are one. So let's run our AND gate circuit. We're going to run all four combinations of inputs. First we have input A as one and input B as zero. What is the output? It is zero. There is no marble in the output. Next we have input A as zero and input B as one. What is the output? It's still zero. Next, we have both inputs A and B as one. What is the output? It is one. And lastly, we have both inputs A and B as zero. What is the output? It is zero. So hooray! Today you've learned how an OR gate and an AND gate works. Because the AND and OR gates each have two inputs and one output, they're going to be helpful when we start building a GraviCalc computer circuit that can do arithmetic calculations like adding two numbers. So we've now built three of the seven basic logic gates. Good job, guys. We're going to build the other four gates over the next four weeks. Okay, see you next week.